This is a very quiet singing bowl. But it's still attractive to cats. <laughs> so, who are we? <clears throat> Why are we here? And uh, how did we get into this mess in the first place? This lifetime of ours. Well, <clears throat> if the center of the galaxy is here, and we're in this four-limbed galaxy, the fallen wisdom goddess, Sophia, fell from the center. Um, I have a theory that it was purposeful, but needless to say, whether it was purposeful or not, because she saw what a mess the Anthropos was in. Now, a narrative is a good way of, of understanding the story of the humanity and how many years do we live. So let's go back to the fallen thing. When something falls, <laughs> it, it gets knocked out cold. So suffice it to say that she was out cold, and when she came to, she was a little bit autistic. <clears throat> Autistic people communicate differently than those that have their full faculties. This isn't about autism. Um, this is about how did we get here? What are we doing? And why is it so messed up? Well, when Sophia fell, and this is according to the Gnostic teacher on the internet, John Lamb Lash, who actually read the Nag Hammadi text and interpreted them and is a scholar, and his uh, learning site is the meta.org. And before he had the meta, uh, he had a meta history. And so I went on there and have all of these sheets of information because I'm a student. And so rather than reading directly from these pieces of paper right now, I'm going to talk to you about what it is that I've gleaned off of um, his um, scholarly information. Um, when you fall, you get knocked out cold. When you wake up, you're not quite together yet, and that's what happened to her. Why did she fall? Because she leaned into the experiment. She became concerned for her uh, creations, her and Thalete, and this is according to Gnosticism. So the narrative is that an aeonic couple that were at the center of the galactic core in a thick nougat-like swirl of activity um, created and dreamed up uh, and put in, impl impl basically manifested uh, humanity and when she fell uh, another thing occurred and it was the archontic um, infection so the archons are the unseen non-physically manifested manifestations that were created by mistake they are not capable of occupying our planet in physical form because the one they don't have bodies and two they their bodies my understanding is um, could be the greys they, they could be the dra draconians they could be any of that but they basically are jealous and want to ruin the biology on the planet so they live thousands of years where we don't even live up to a hundred. So humanity in its history has been altered. <laughs> the cat. <laughs> to suit the agenda of the non-biological entities the archons and their ilk, and it's not important to know what they are, it's important to know that they exist, and the archontic infection is a mental virus, so the Native Americans in America would say they've been seeded in the brain. To be seeded in the brain is, one, you don't have novel thought, so no novel thought is an indicator that you are indeed infected. Two, uh, a slavish um, devotion to conformity. <laughs> That's definitely archontic infection. 
And uh, number three is um, a disrespect for life. So these non-entity entities, non-physical entities, want the biology of the earth to become an inorganic uh, environment, which is now organic, meaning it has carbon, and then they want to create this death um, star, Earth. And it's not important to focus on that because in the future we've already won. Okay, why aren't people awake and why aren't they waking up? Well, when I first discovered this uh, fact that our planet was ta is taken over by satanic uh, forces and it's being discovered now um, and it is trickling in because when I first discovered it, it was actually very disheartening and I was angry, upset, um, sad, not fearful so much, but I was anything but chipper and happy because it's not happy stuff. So people are going to wake up slowly to the extent at which they can handle the facts. And perhaps people all don't have to wake up if those that are able to get things corrected. We are in correction now. What is correction? Correction is that mother woke up, she fell, she got knocked out. When she woke up, she was um, rather uh, ineffectual in, in communicating. And she communicates through the human animal because we are her children. So it's through our consciousness. So if you have a consciousness that's like, something's not right here. This isn't quite right. This isn't what should be, should be going on. You, my friend, are part of this whole thing. Now, um, the Sophianic vision story about when she fell and she had this vision for humanity and all that is part of the whole ball of information that allows an individual in planetary Tantra to come to their senses, make sense of this mess, and then sense their way through their five senses, Omani Padme Om, into a life worth living. Planetary Tantra does that for me. Again, these things write, rewrote history. I mean, Jesus may have been, who, who wasn't called Jesus, and who wasn't who was showing us the way out uh, of the mess, which was the papal bullcrap, bula, from the Roman Catholic Church, and they took over the goddess religions. They took over all the paganism. Uh, Notre Dame, no, da, no, 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 all right, that was a temple to Isis. All of the churches were built on ley lines, but they were built on top of temples. They were all to the goddess. And it wasn't worshipping this goddess or that goddess. It was worshipping Mother Earth. Thank you, Mother, for the bounty. Thank you for this beautiful um, land that we can grow food on. And the cycles were a circular cycle, not this linear calendar, because they celebrated ar ar agriculturally and uh, all of that. So I'm not going to go into history, it's not my forte. What I'm going to talk to you about is Planetary Tantra and the uh, answers I have gotten to this, who are we, why are we here, and what's going on, and uh, why aren't more people awake, and all of that. Well, it's called brainwashing. If enough people believe a lie, does it make it true? No but it makes it so that that lie becomes accept accepted as truth, especially when that lie is well-intended, such as the story of Jesus Christ. Now, I was raised Christian, and when I took Jesus Christ into my heart after a meditation, everything turned gold with my eyes shut, and I was filled with this incredible light and it also brought back in with it downloads of information. We use that terminology, downloads, uploads, all of that, because that the, the human brain is actually, um, and the heart together, are what the computers are mimicking. And by the way, the binary system, the O's and the ones, those are the 
64 integers, meaning 0000, 0001, 0001, etc. There are 64 of those combinations of zeros and ones that make up the 64 integers of uh, binary code which run computers which actually have their root in the I Ching, an ancient, ancient divination tool um, because there is no randomness in the universe and that's why synchronicities are so important. Back to Planetary Tantra, I have this notebook that I use and that right there is Jewel in the Lotus. I also have my computer and I have gone to um, now nemeta.org, click on the Planetary Tantra bar and then get yourself your very own. Um, let's see if I can get this. Yeah. Okay. So what we have is here we have um, the Shakti Cluster app, which is a tool that John Lane Lash received, and it's a symbol um, and a tool for um, self mastery with the planet. I will discuss that soon because there are nine. In this beautiful attributes to it. This right here is a Thunderbird um, formation and it is the inversion of similarly to um, it's also important. The Thunderbird uh, formation is going to be slightly different. There are 17 bands, 5 ranks. You will learn about all of that but for now, let's Okay, so the reason why I'm bringing this up is because you will learn when you, when you study Planetary Tantra that every point on the Shakti Cluster app has a corresponding point on the Thunderbird location, a, a formation. And what happened when I was meditating was I was meditating with the Shakti Cluster app <clears throat> I'm going to make it big. Oh, no, I'm not. Okay. I was meditating with the Shakti Cluster app, and what occurred was it fanned up and became the Thunderbird. And you use the app in a handheld laminated, and you use your gaze, your intended gaze, which is like the blind man's cane. And you're using it, that pointed, focused gaze, when you're looking at the Shakti Cluster app, to um, command uh, the goddess. And she has different flavors. So she's got um, five flavors of the um, Diamond Sky Dakinis and ten flavors within the outer band, which are the Mahavidyas. And then she's got uh, Kali, which is the killing point, the kill strike, when you are going to do actual distance killing. Meaning, if that is what you're called to do as a warrior, you don't physically kill. And then uh, we've got Akajati, which is the floating like a bee, that protects and you can use that to protect you on a psychic level. If you're called to do Planetary Tantra, you have to understand the whole package, though. You can't just get the Shakti Cluster app, pretend it's magical for you, and in your wishful thinking, in your magical thinking, in your brain, which is just pretend, uh, think that you can use that to do your bidding. No. You have to understand the whole thing. Magic doesn't just like go poof, and all of a sudden, you know, yeah, you're a magician. You have to understand the fallen wisdom goddess scenario, what the term of Gaia awakening is, and it's just not going to happen overnight. <clears throat> so John has a whole school. I'm a student of his planetary tantra. And um, I wanted to answer this question about how is it that we are asleep? How is it that this stuff is going on on the, on the planet and people don't know that it's satanic and everything's inverted here. Everything is upside down here. The Abraham, Abrahamic, whatever those religions are, that bearded God. All right. <clears throat> okay. There's so much to say. If we only live 50 years, 
you're not going to re you know, and and, and um, <clears throat> you die. And you don't know what is going to happen when you go over to the other side. And what happens if the other side is in the fourth dimension? The five dimensions on up are the ones that are safe places. <clears throat> the the fourth dimension is where the tomfoolery is. And I don't know because I haven't died and I haven't got the ability to go into the fourth dimension. But my understanding is that that's being cleaned up. I don't know. What's important to know is that you, if you're listening to this, are in the here and now. And the now is the most important thing. Why did all these people fall asleep? Well, if they get reincarnated, they actually got duped into coming back. And Earth was in a... We were all in the endless cycle of hell because our misery and our frustration and our low frequencies create food for those entities I told you about earlier. The Archons. <laughs> and um, therefore, <clears throat> an Archon means ruler because they were set up. So... <clears throat> if we were all happy campers living our life, um, there were other star systems that discovered Earth, and they may or may not have also put in their seed, you know, mated with the, the women, and done this and done that, and whether they did or they didn't is not my point. The point is, the Gaia Sophia has children, and if you're listening to this, you are one of them. She is your mother. You know it. You feel it in every fiber of your being. And you were told your father art in heaven. No, that's the lie. Have no gods before me. No, that's the lie. Because why would we rape women? Because we rape the earth. As above, so below. So why did it get taken over? Again, because those non-physical -enti non entities were jealous. This, this, jealous, jealous, jealous. And then you take a look at all of the myths uh, throughout all of the religions. There's always this um, male and female and all of that. And then there's also bickering amongst siblings or something like that. Abel and Cain, the Cainites. Abel didn't kill Cain, killed Abel because Abel wasn't able to kill Cain. The Cainites are the ones that took to the dark side. And the Abel loved his mother. He, he didn't really get killed. He got overthrown. Um, so we're going to talk about the Shakti Cluster features um, right now. <clears throat> As I answer a question of, like, how come more people don't know what's going on? Well, if you've been told a lie for generation after generation after generation, lifetime after lifetime after lifetime, and you haven't woken up, it's because you're not ready to, it's too much for you. I woke up and I'm fully awake and I'm able to function on this planet <laughs> and I'm much happier than most people. <laughs> number one, I'm apolitical. And number two, um, I'm not fooled by the religions that exist. And I did my etymology in the word religion, and religion is basically yoking you back, words, by law. Religion, repeat, return, whatever, re, 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 is going back. And the laws of a religion are fake. Who put them into place? Okay, now we're getting into the Anunnaki. All right? So uh, there's a lot to know. You can't just get it in, like, 19 minutes. What you can do is begin discovering that every single day, connecting your heart, you put your hand on your heart, you connect your heart to your higher self. You connect your higher self and your heart to the earth center, to the core. And you, you, you put, put it in, like in yoga. You connect, you earth, you ground to the earth. You see the sun as, yes, the S-U-N, the sun, the most important uh, out uh, there thing besides on the earth, okay? The goddess, your creator, you walk on her, you eat from her, you drink from her. <clears throat> In 
And Jesus did not say, take my body, take my blood. That's cannibalism. That's satanic ritual. He did not say that. That was all put in there after they killed him on Passover. Whomever they were that killed him. Okay? Now, this is my bed head. I rolled out of bed. I decided, hey, let's get straight to it. Because I want to get some things out of the way. So, hi. You think we should talk about the Shakti Cluster app now? <laughs> okay, the Shakti Cluster app, I showed it to you on my computer, um, and it's here. And we are currently in um, a shift for number 15, Vispamata. And I'm not going to go into her specifically right now. I'm going to generally talk about the Shakti Cluster. Now, number one, it creates connectivity because it's module 16 on, on the nometa.org website. It also is right here. Now, you're not touching it with your fingers when you actually do it. I'm doing it because I'm teaching. When you load in there, you then conduce up to the amber dot, which is our mother, Vivi. She's got many different names. Her secret name is not to be spoken here. It's sacrilegious to me to say, actually, not, religion is not what we do. It's tradition. And um, we're doing the counter magic to the black magic. The black magic is what put, has put people to sleep. Snow White um, ate an apple, fell asleep. Cinderella pricked her finger or something, fell asleep. And they all are going to wake up by true love. And the true love is what? Your love for the mother. You will wake up when you fall in love with the story that your mother in the earth actually fell, got knocked out, <laughs> and, and, is, and is waiting, not waiting, she's in correction. Okay, historically she woke up somewhere around the French Revolution. <laughs> By the way, the Bol Bolshevik takeover of Tsar Russia, that was um, a crime. We were, are not told history correctly. It's his story, remember, not hers. And it's a lie. I'm not going to go into history right now. The Shakti Cluster app creates connectivity. Why? Because you're within it. You're point .16. You're the blue spot. You're Rome. doesn't matter whether or not you're black, white, you're a Gentile. And whatever the Gentiles are, which you are because you're listening to this, you are, um, going, you are a child of Gaia. Um, why do we have all these different race colors? Oh, well, uh, the earth is a living library. We are a living library. We are the perfect growing place for biology. Or in organic, don't like organic, which is why they're trying to destroy it, which is why we have all this pollution, rape, and whatnot on the planet. Because the powers that were, that are on their way out, that in the future, we've already won in the future. But you, listening to this now, are dealing with this stuff now, just like I am. So you've got to keep your wits together. So the, plan, the, the Shakti Cluster app is also an earthing device. So that's what I do. I connect to my heart. I connect to bring my higher self in. I connect to the earth. I look at the Shakti Cluster app. I take a look at that white, that blue dot. I recognize that I'm a child of hers. And I know she is the Aeon, and she um, came from our galactic core. This is my rudimentary drawing, okay? Uh, and this symbol, by the way, <clears throat> is ancient, and it's a lot like the swastika, but um, I'm not going to go into that either, because if you take a look at ancient uh, symbols, the swastika is, like, right up there with, like, used. <clears throat> but it got, you know, because of history. So, um, the earthing device is like plug and play. You plug into it with your, with your attention, with your attention, right? And I gotta read this. So you can learn, it, it will show you how to use it. You take one step and then the next step shows you what to do. You take next step, the next step shows you what to do. The life isn't like you know everything that's gonna happen and you just like, poof, you know. They teach us to have these goals, they meaning uh, uh, beta thinking. But alpha thinking teaches that you do one thing and then the next thing unfolds. So no, uh, another thing about the Shakti Cluster app, so these are my notes, okay. 
is that it combines the deservistic and the liberational powers of the supernatural. The supernatural is that which is um, intelligence in nature. And you then command it. You don't use supplication, which is prayer or humbly asking. You command. Yeah, that's the difference. <laughs> this is a tradition, not a religion. So why were the Gnostics were killed off? <clears throat> why aren't there more of them? They were killed off. Uh, there is a consciousness pool. Uh, the Jungian psychology, Carl Jung. Um, <clears throat> there's memory through DNA. How do you get that memory back? By earthing to the planet, and by sun gazing, allowing the sun into your eyes. And they. Always say, don't do that, don't do this, don't do that, don't do this, don't, don't, don't. Look out the, look someplace else besides there. Because that's where the answers are, in the sun. Me and Liz, we both have our eyesight's improved because we've been sun gazing. I have contact lenses that I wear or glasses. My, my prescription has gotten strong, less strong. It's gotten, I require less correction now. Because I'm in correction too, you see? <laughs> Because our original blueprint is perfection. And you can regenerate and stay younger longer. Uh-huh. <clears throat> so let's see what else I was gonna tell you. Oh, number five, number one, connectivity. Number two is an earthing device. Plug and play, baby. Number three, it's interactive. It plays with you. <laughs> number four, it combines the deservistic and the liberational powers of the supernatural. <clears throat> the Mahavidyas and the um, Dance and Sky Dakinis are Devatas, but you'll learn about that in Planetary Tantra. And this device is wired to the lunar cycles, which are 29.5. We're in day seven now of the lunar shift, so um, meaning the first day after the black moon is the first day of, of the lunar cycle. And each one has a, a specific flavor. And it helps you, as a human being, understand the ups and downs, the dips and the curves, the this is and the that's of being on human existence. Because every day is a different day. All right, okay? So each month on day five, you can load and conduce, and you can focus on the Devada on shift, and you can command her, you can redo the planetary vow, which is iron bonding on day five. Because that's when it's strongest to do. Okay? And... Um, you can um, then, okay, the number six is the ability to, to amplify your perceptions. Joy of joys. You go outside, your perceptions are amplified. Also, you become a huge BS meter. <laughs> you know when somebody's got oopy goopy all over them from across the room. Your perceptions get so fine, you know things. You, you, prevent, you can prevent all kinds of malhadies and mishaps. Um, you know, the five senses. Number seven, um, it activates your paranormal faculties. So not only do you get perception, you get paranormal faculties. Your gifts, whatever they may be, become accentuated. Number eight, um, it has... The shape of it has a subliminal impact on the body. Your body responds to the shape. It's an oval with a zipsity do on top. <clears throat> so your body responds to that in a tactile way. And number nine. Oh, also, okay, the eighth feature I told you about, the shape. Um, with the dipty eclipse in it, um, it creates a harmonic resonance throughout your entire body. So it's a way of maintaining harmony within your physical body in a dissonant world. Uh huh. And the number nine, the novelty of the Shakti Cluster app is that the design runs the field it displays. So I will finish this, this video by saying, yes, 
we got taken over. Our perfectly happy people, the pagans, were called pagans because they went to the countryside, because the cities were taken over by the rulers, who told us what to do. More Papal Bula, Bula, B-U-L-L-A, Papal, P-A-P-A-L, came from the Roman Catholic Church, the evil of evils. And people have great faith, and I, I would, in, out of context, it would piss people off to hear me say it out of context. Historically, his story, <laughs> they killed the Druids, the wise people. They killed the Gnostics. They killed the witches. They killed the healer. They killed the midwives. They, they, they did all that. They burnt them at stake. And you know the horrible thing? When you burn a body at stake, it bleeds. It bleeds. It's the most horrific way of dying. They're cruel. And the anguish of, of these dying people, of the suffering people throughout time, creates an emotional release which becomes loose for those nasty archons that eat it up. Why are we fighting black against white, male against female? Now generations. My son is like, yeah, your generation fucked it up for us. I go, well, guess what? And the ones before that fucked it up for us. And now we're at each odds with one another because what greater way to break a people than to break the connection we have with each other. To create more loose for the losers. Well, guess what? We've already won in the future. And you want to know how we continue to do that? that? By one person at a time. Waking up. Following their heart's desire. And living a higher life. And that is the greatest revolution one can possibly take, is to follow their heart, continually connecting it to the planet, being grateful for your life. So thank you for listening. Um, comment below, and I will do my best to answer questions. However, what I have learned has been through my own experience, as well as finding the Gnostic teacher. And I found him after going to the total eclipse of the sun, August 21st, 2017, and getting downloads, getting information, and then seeking to find somebody or something that resonated with my new truths, my new knowing. Why do I know Jesus Christ wasn't what they teach in the church? Because when I did my meditation and took the Christ into my heart, Gold filled me, this woke up, and I had knowing. I've had knowing every since I was a child. I've had guides every since I was a child. And then school teaches, teaches you otherwise. No daydreaming. And now they have schools with no windows. They put them in trailers. They take them further and further away from nature. No recess. You're going to get stolen. I played outside. They, uh, the bus dumped us off outside. We played outside. We weren't allowed in the school. Now they force them into the school and they're immediately put into computers. Technology is a tool and she uses that tool. So if you found me, she's led you. Go onto the computer and, and tool around. However, the answers are in you already. The way you're going to get to your truth of your being is through your heart, not your head. But true, true, you have to line your head and your heart with the belly brain. This heart, this is how you create the force field around yourself. Your heart is how you connect to your own self within the Shakti Cluster app, which itself, the application, App, application, runs the field. The field runs it. Your love for yourself, your self-love, is your number one tool. Wherever you've, you've come from. I, oh, somebody asked me why, why this white genocide thing. It's because there's a specific 
code that white people have, and why why is white supremacy you know why somebody be called a white supremacist if they like being white or whatever? Um, it's to actually de de degrade um, the sense of self, the self love, to get you know white guilt and all that, and then you know do the whole white white privilege classes, which is a joke. <laughs> we are in this together, people. We are all the Gentiles. We are all the beautiful children of Gaia. Remember that. Remember that.